Let's make some music with the Picadev buzzer. We'll connect this with a Microbit V2, get some example tones running, and I'll even show you how to create some melodies. Let's get started. Now, of course, the Microbit V2 already has a buzzer on board, but this guide will still be useful if you want to separate your Microbit from the source of the sound. To follow along, you'll of course need a Microbit V2, a Picadev buzzer and adapter for Microbit, and a Picadev cable to connect them together. Start by plugging your micro bit into the adapter, making sure the buttons are facing up. Connect your Picadev cable to the adapter and connect the other end to your buzzer. Just before we get started, make sure these two switches are in the off position. These are the ID switches so you can connect to multiple buzzers. Also make sure that these two ID jumpers are unsoldered or open. To learn more about Picadev modules with these kind of features, check out our guide for smart modules. And I've mounted everything to a Picadev platform to keep it nice and stable. Finally, connect your microbit to your computer with a USB lead. In the article for this tutorial, find the download section and right click each link and save link as. I'm saving these to a Picadev directory in my documents. We're going to work with Thony in this tutorial. If you haven't used Thony with the microbit before, then check out our guide for that. And if you prefer to use a programming environment that doesn't require installing, we have a guide for python.microbit.org. Open Thony, connect to your microbit. Select the first file, hold shift, select the last file, right click and upload to microbit to upload all the files. And here they are. These two are drivers. We're going to work with main.py. This file is ready to run. So we can just press the green run button. This script is playing a high tone, then a low tone. Taking a look at the script, we first import the driver for the buzzer and we import a function to create a delay, sleepms. We initialize the buzzer and call it buzz. And we initialize it with volume equal to two. That is the highest volume setting. We have zero, one, and two. Next we call buzz.tone and this can take up to two arguments. The first is the frequency in Hertz and the second is the duration of the tone. If you leave this empty, the tone will play continuously. Here we're passing in 500, the tone will play for 500 milliseconds. There's a delay, and then we play a lower tone. We're now playing a 400 hertz tone for 500 milliseconds. So that's that E or sound. So that's the high tone, and that's the low tone. Next, we call buzz.volume and pass in zero for the lowest volume possible, and we play the same two tones. This time we're playing tones continuously. We pass in just the frequency, and that will run until we call no tone 500 milliseconds later after that sleep function. And again, we do the same with the 400 Hertz tone, and then we stop it with no tone. Let's remix this code and change the frequencies. I'll go from 300 to 600 Hertz. And 300 and 600 here as well, why not? And press Control R to save and run. Return now to the article and we'll grab the melody example. Copy the code and paste into Thony. We'll paste over main. Again, this is ready to run, so just click that run button. Nice. <laughs> So that melody is three blind mice. Let's take a look at the script. We do the usual imports. Here we have some note frequency pairs. So we have a Python dictionary called notes and a dictionary associates a key like this name here for a note with a value. In this case, we're using frequencies for those notes. So a F note is 349 Hertz. And this is just all the notes in an octave. Next up, we define a Python list melody and this is a note duration pair. So each note in this list has a duration associated with it. This E will be played for 500 milliseconds, then D gets played for 500 milliseconds, all the way down. You can see we have an F that's played for a shorter amount of time, 250 milliseconds. After defining a melody, we set up the buzzer and then we call a for loop and that steps through every entry in melody, extracting the note name, which is say E, and extracting the duration, which is that number on the right there. And then we just call buzz.tone with those two values. 
We take the note name and use that as the key for our notes dictionary, and we play the note for that duration. In music, silence is called a rest, and you can see in our notes dictionary that rest defines zero hertz. What that means is if we call tone with zero hertz, that will play silence, it will rest for that duration. And there you have it, a simple melody. Have a go at changing these note duration pairs to something else to create your own melody. And there you have it, creating tones and playing melodies on a PikaDev buzzer. If you make something cool from these starter projects or if you just have some questions, let us know on our forums. We're full-time makers and happy to help. Until next time, thanks for watching.